Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Clark's Farm. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, you get no notifications of our videos out every Sunday. Uh, just up here feeding our Angus bull here. We haven't put him out to uh, any cows this year. Um, sort of actually trying the idea of maybe selling that bull and go back to just having one bull. The reason why uh, we had him <coughs> was this easy, like, maybe like a maternal bull. We're getting good half our calves out of him, which we did. Um, but with rearing the calves now, we sort of maybe might potentially just buy in half our calves and rear them machine and then no need for a second bull and then bull all our, all our good cows to the Charlie, sort of good weanlings to sell at the end of the year. But something we're thinking about. But also, yes, this week we are flat out working on the receding, getting it finished. It's the never ending job. Um, but yeah, we're just pumping away at it to get it done. Um, so yeah, let's get at it. So <clears throat> today we are out with the stone picker. Um, as I said in the last video, there's a new machine we got. We got it tail end last year, but never got to use it ourselves. Um, she was out in hire a fair few times now. I actually wanted to pick the stones in this here last week, but she was out in hire all week last week. Um, so yeah, we finally got a chance to get at it for ourselves. Um, making an absolute great job of it. So it is. It will lift any stones up to the size of a concrete block. Um, it'll leave anything like see any smaller stones it'll leave them all behind like it's up to 50 mil i think it is it'll leave behind it and um, through the riddling bar on it um it's you just go nice and handy walk away at it it fills into the bin and then you tip the bin out um yeah see if there's any back where you can walk picking up stones and then that to be fair this thing isn't too bad down where we put it in the new the new drain it's bad enough but uh, it's not too bad but in saying that when you look at that uh, when you look at that field i'd say it's not too bad but you wouldn't believe he's about he's had to empty that bin already he's only what one two three four five five rows around the outside of it done i think he's had to empty it seven or eight times now so just goes to show you stuff that you wouldn't even think, think of picking up it and like, pick it up for you um, yeah, it's a good nice finish there, so we can feel it. So wide over the top of that now, um, and then run over with the roller again, and that's it done. Um, yeah, it's nice to go you just lower it up and down on the top length there, and you just sort of have it go running into the side or retouching it, you don't have to be digging down into it the whole time and then <coughs> whatever um, if this ground is ploughed it'll leave an even better finish it's only because that's this and that's why it's the bits of grass stuff on it through it um, ploughed ground leaves are just pure powder just it's, uh, you're ready to sow out after it like. um, yeah great job unbelievable um, she'll take three meters at a time. Um, we did look with the four meter one, the same one as Farmer Phil has, but with the two rotors down either side, you have to have her in neutral to fold them back up again. The gear the PTO in neutral, and because if you don't do that, it'll bust the gearbox and stuff. So, for higher out, we just want the simplest machine as possible. So, that's why we went for this one here. Um, as I was saying. <coughs> To hire this machine, it's if you want to hire it and use it yourself, it's 250 pounds a day, and trust me, it is worth every penny of it. You not get too many men to pick stones for 250 pounds a day, innit? Um, and plus, two, it's consistent. There's not, uh, you, uh, whenever you go to pick stones in the first first bit of it, it's perfect to every bit of stone we've picked, and then by the end of the field, it's It'll do right you don't worry about that one, the roller will catch that one and you just want to get out of the field as quick as possible. This way here, it's perfect the whole way through. Um, yeah, so she's available for hire, whenever you want her, we deliver through to Ireland and we know well at all. Uh, 
See ya. Good rest of the final stop. Sorry, mama, please don't look at me. When I got to Oklahoma, I was 17. My papa taught me how to work, and Lord, he was me. Working all day in that office, eating. He taught me how to fish, mama taught me how to drink. Well, I went to California and I had me a band. Then we played in all the bars in all the southern lands. Played all night and we drank for free. All of my boys and me. Well, I had a girl who loved me the whole damn time And I drank my whiskey and she drank wine Soon my bottle was too much to company Yeah, we'd sit on the river and we'd fish all day And we'd drive across the country, let the radio play Seven damn years I never thought she'd leave And there ain't nobody who can drink like me Soon I'll be 24 And the Lord knows that I can't drink no more I know I should have taken it slow It's not the way that my life goes Lord, I know When you pass out on the floor You're sober by 24 Simple as my mama said when I was very young She told me not to worry, son One day you'll be someone But here I am at 21 As loaded as a stagecoach shotgun I'm sorry, mama Please don't look at me I'm sorry, mama Got it for right while yet. Okay. Get this ground finished up once and for all. So today we are started back into the reseeding again. Um, as you seen in the volley video earlier on, we started it. Um, started a couple of weeks ago. Started the stone picking on it, and the stone picker broke that day. She broke a shaft, um, so she had to go back to TV pack and then to get that sorted out. So they had it for a few days and then obviously with Dad's wake and funeral and stuff and then we had no hate to go back to the tall. So that left us then with a bit of grass sprouting up on it again. So instead of disking it again, we said we get Adrian up over there. His power. Um so he gave a quick run of the power just to break it up again and, and Leave and pick the rest of the stones out. So, Mike has already done that half already, but he's just gonna give it an hour run anyway. Uh, when we're at it. The bit that we drained, the drain along here, is still wet. So we think the problem is that the water's not getting away in the neighbour's field here. 
So we we're talking to him and we'll have to clean out the shuck on that side so we're gonna go in and do that. It's almost easy to dig as well. Just to dry that up. Like it's not it's not soaking wet but it's like he's driving through it there now and you can see the tracks are tagged so we'll end up just sewing this all out anyway. Look the pipes are there, the, the drains are, it's just obviously the water's not getting away so that's something we'll have to fix down the line. Um but yeah the paha is making a great job of breaking up any of the wee bits of sods. The sods don't really agree well with the stone picker. Um, so the power is eliminating that problem um, and then here's the link box and all the front road and the big pile of stones lifted and all so saved us having to lift any big ones um, but yeah no it's, it's it's coming into shape I'd like to think by the end of the day we will have this sewn out you get stuck out of the day focus at it and get it finished up once and for all So, grass seed is going out. Michael's over there spreading it out. Very, very nervously spreading that. He, uh, he's panicking that he's not going to do it right or miss a spot or anything. And that we will absolutely tear him to shreds if he misses a bit, which is very true. We will definitely share it all over the Facebook and Snapchat and everything just to second him if he does miss a bit. So, he better not. But anyway. I am going to show you another bit of kit we have got and it's a new tow behind sewer um, we bought this at the Balmora show um, new JSC um, tow behind sewer she'll hold half ton that's why I've been around at the minute um, and she's a long reach handle I know for switching on and off so you can put it in the cab It'll go on to quad, it'll go on to jeep, it'll go on to anything. Um, we were up to JFC Sand, look, talking about the uh, milk feeder bought off and the stuff, and seeing this here, thought it was a really well built scene. Um, fairly simple, good heavy gearbox on it. I said that will do the job for us, so this is available for hire. I know a few people did ask for us at the start of the year when it was a really wet year, so if we hired to go behind sores, and now we do. So I've fertilised this here now, I'm going to throw it out. Either his way around to get springtime hair, he's going to run the springtime hair over it and then I'll throw the knob of the fertiliser over the top of it. Um, and that'll be us finished. Finito. Done. Well, tactically, we have a couple of stone ditches and stuff to fix yet. This one here just to finish off up here. That's good. And we want to put a couple of posts in for grazing, but we'll probably do that whenever we're, we're starting to graze it. Uh, just for someone to tie the lead fence off. But I will be glad to see the back of this field finished. See one of them jobs just dragging on and on and on. But yeah. Good job, glad to see it. I will um, stick the drone up here whenever I finish one, we'll put it before and after up. You see, it's impressive the difference in it now, to be fair. But yeah, waiting to kid either either come around the tractor either. So we're here with the hater on the sower here. Um, the, just fish on 
Ranger. Um, yeah, so we're just going away here. So, um, I'm back around the field here again, uh, I had to rush off the other night with Gavin and Adrian and Michael all stayed on and got the fertiliser out and the seed in and everything all finished up so thankfully that's the field sowed out, all finished, thank god. You can see the green start coming already, yeah, that's only sowed a few days all together now so um, yeah so happy about that. Um, and lucky enough there's no patches on it so Michael done a fair enough job um, but yeah there's a few odd jobs to finish off on it a few posts and stuff to win but look we'll leave it to grow and then we'll come back at it we get then done before we put cattle on it to graze um, but yeah happy with how the whole thing finished up a long project but glad to see the back of it and I'm sure Dad would have been glad to see it now but have never it's done now anyway that's the main thing Job done. sheds. Um, Gary here is just, he's scraping out the shed at that. The giant. Um, I actually started into this a few days ago. Uh, and I washed out the front shed here. Um, so yeah, so I got this one done already. But this one here is nearly the handy one because this got the slotted tank in it. So you just wash into it all the time. But this our shade obviously has got the straw and the hay in it and all. It's not in handy for doing that shade. Um, and it's far, far bigger as well. So. Uh, it's, it's grand for the first wee bit. But you soon get sick of it. The arms get tired. And it took me, this shade here took me, I spent about three mornings at it probably about two or three hours each time, so. Um, I turned out to be a good job, and then we took the gates off here again so we can back the oaks in if I need to work on them. I washed out the trailer and it's um, just handy having the shed there to do that bit of work in it. Um, but it ties up well. The only thing is our doors, sorry, come wash for wear. Hold on, the doors are all wrapped, and so it's something I have to look into replacing the bottom of the door. 
but yeah, we get back at it. We get the, this shed here washed out now. Then um, plan is to do this side of the shed here first, and then we be able to shift the, the, the hay and the straw across to here. And I think we're going to leave it over the side of the shed this year anyway. And um, then we get the calf pen and all washed out. Need to be getting our batch of calves in. We're sort of holding it off, getting our batch of calves in until they get washed out and cleaned out, disinfected, and all. Um, so yeah, the power is stoked up. So um, we got the top two bays washed to this shape. Just do a bits and pieces at a time, so it's not as monotonous having it stuck in for a whole day. Um, so if we just take out it for the week then, hopefully uh, should be right out in a week or so. Um, but anyway, that's all we have time for this week. Please don't forget to like the video, drop any comments you have below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you get notifications of our video out every Sunday. And check out the website for merch. Right, all the best now. Good luck.